can't keep track of it. I was just talking to somebody who was teaching AI, and she didn't know a, a particular guy who has come up with a coding program that's banned in some of the American schools because the children are excelling in coding. And uh, that's called replete.com. What if I told you that this particular quote wasn't from Silicon Valley? That was the legendary Indian actor Kamal Hassan. Yep, actor, activist, and now a proper voice of the future of education as well. Because today's kids, they're not just watching YouTube or say swiping on reels. They're skipping lunch to build 2D games, creating 3D escape rooms with their parents, and prompting AI to code apps before they even know what a compiler is. This is not a fad, this is vibe coding and it's turning schools into startup incubators. So let's tell you how Gen Alpha just redefined the meaning of playtime. At a recent AI workshop for 8 to 12 year olds, something very unexpected happened. No one got up for lunch, no one left after school. They were just too deep into coding, vibe coding. From lovable to VO, kids are now building 2D games, mobile apps, and interactive stories just by describing them. Create a game where a robot collects stars. That's it, voila, your game is done. AI does the heavy lifting and the kid becomes the designer. And that is how coding is becoming family time. One dad actually posted, my son went to an escape room. He wanted to buy the game. I said, let's build it. And they did indeed with Replit and AI. So this isn't say coding as homework. This is coding as Lego. Fun, fast, uh, imaginative. And that's why when it comes to vibe coding, creativity is always higher than syntax. Let's be clear, vibe coding isn't just about, say, syntax or compilers. It's about storytelling. It's about problem solving. Kids are skipping the boring stuff and jumping straight into building things that actually work. Drag, drop, prompt, deploy. And here's the kicker. They don't even know that they are learning programming. Because to them, it's, it's fun. It's pastime. Like cricket used to be for us when we were kids. So should vibe coding be in the curriculum? Industry voices are already calling for it. Krishna Gautam said, and we are quoting him, programming fundamentals are great, but let's also teach prompting fundamentals. I mean, just imagine a world where kids learn how to think and talk to machines, just like they learn multiplication tables. Cursor, windsurf, uh, replit, these won't just be tools anymore. They will become confidence machines. But hold up, there are risks as well. As kids build more apps with AI, cybersecurity becomes non-negotiable. Vibe coding apps can be fun, but they can also be vulnerable. Schools must pair creativity with caution. They must teach data privacy. They must monitor app sharing. They must bake in responsible AI usage from day one itself. Because the last thing that we want is an AI-built game that leaks student data. Even Replit CEO Amjad Masad says, and we are quoting him, learn a bit of code, learn to think, learn to break down problems. And that's why we say vibe coding is the gateway, but core concepts still matter. Because prompting well means knowing what to ask and how to debug when things go wrong. I mean, when it comes to today's kids, they don't just want to become actors or cricketers, astronauts for that matter. They want to build games. They want to create apps. They want to deploy their imagination in real time. And when they say, dad or mom, I want to play this game, they don't open Steam they open Replit. And that's why it's safe to say that this is not just, say, STEM education. This is the consumerization of creativity. Schools need to wake up because vibe coding is already in the wild. The question is though, will we catch up? Because our Indian kids already are. Tell us what you think about this. Share in the comments below. And of course, share this video with a fellow AI enthusiast, maybe a fellow AI enthusiast who's a teenager. For more stories just like this from the entire world of tech and AI, subscribe to AIM TV because think AI, think AIM.